In this video, I'm going to show you how to hide a custom command within a command bar. Now, I have this model driven app and I have a couple of records created over here. Now, in the command bar, first, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a command. OK, now this is under the context of a record. So if I go inside a record, then I want a command bar command to be appearing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to edit this model driven app. Now I have this model driven app open. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into the specific view and click on edit command bar. And instead of selecting main grid, I will select main form because I want to go inside a record. Now I'm inside a record now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a logic, a simple logic, basically just to demonstrate to you how to hide this command. Now I'll just have put a command and I'll just call it as atomic number. Now this command is atomic number. I can put some icon over here. I'll just say use this icon, say LinkedIn icon. Now this command should be visible, okay, based on some condition. Now if I show you the record over here in minerals, I have this calcium, gold, iron and silver. So if I go to calcium, if you see for calcium atomic number is nothing for gold it is something for iron it is nothing for silver it is nothing okay so maybe write a condition if the atomic number is blank then only show that button okay so if that is the logic then what i'll do i'll select this button which i've just created now instead of running an action action run formula I will go into visibility and I'll say show on condition from formula or okay so I'll just say click on show on condition from formula here you will see it's it has come to visible now what we can do is we can use a, an expression basically it says if is blank okay then blank on what i'll just say take the context of the current selected item so self dot selected dot item and atomic number so if the atomic number is blank then make it visible so i'll just close the bracket click on save and publish And I'll play the app once this save is completed. So let me run this app. So I'm into the mineral for one of the applications. So calcium. Now calcium does not have atomic number. So let me refresh this. So if you go inside calcium, you see that there is no value for atomic number. If you go back, if you go to gold, you see there is a value 64. And if you go into say iron, then you will see there is no value over here. And that's why you see this number as atomic number. So let me show you in multi view. So if there is, it's a blank value, then you show, you can see this button. If you go to gold, because it has a value, you'll not be able to see the button. If you go into calcium, you see the button. If you go to silver, silver does not have atomic number. So that's why you will see an atomic number. Now, if I just type in say to valve, and if I click on save, then that button will disappear. Now for iron, atomic number is nothing. That's why I can see this button. But if I want to make this button disappear, I will some add some value over here, click on save, and that, that button will disappear. So with the help of command bar, what I can do is I can hide or show the button. So if I remove the value from gold and if I click on save, then that button will appear, right? So this is how you basically use the command bar to hide or show the value based on some logic. And in our case, the logic is pretty much simple. We are just checking whether if it's blank, then only show the command bar button. Thanks for watching.